I jumped at the chance to write a commentary on Galatians after having worked on Romans for many years. Uh, the books are uh, similar in a lot of ways. Justification and the law figure very prominently. Uh, but it was a joy to uh, dig into a slightly different take on some of these issues that we have in Galatians. Ultimately, Galatians and Romans, I think, are on the same page, but they are making different points in slightly different ways. And I discovered some things in Galatians about Paul that I'd never seen in Romans. Uh, I, I take Galatians to be perhaps the first book Paul wrote, and so he's still in some ways working out his theology in the letter as he tries to deal with the problems there. Uh, and one of the things I discovered was that uh, he just takes a little bit different view of justification in Galatians than he does in Romans. Uh, this is the, the challenge, I think, of all of us as biblical interpreters, uh, trying to do justice to each letter as something important in its own right, at the same time as we try ultimately to put them all together and make sense of Paul's theology as a whole. Uh, working on Galatians and Romans uh, has given me a great opportunity to do that, and uh, I hope that people, as they read the commentaries, uh, will see both the similarities and the differences. Romans is a letter uh, that is written to a church that's sort of divided with a number of different issues and a number of different perspectives. What we end up getting in Romans then, which is one of the great values of the book, is, is a pretty balanced perspective on a lot of the key issues. In Galatians, on the other hand, Paul is writing to a particular problem. He's trying to correct one specific viewpoint. Uh, I like to compare Galatians to a teeter-totter. You have the false teachers who are putting all their weight on one side, as it were, and in order simply to get things back to a level point, Paul has to put all his weight on the other side. So Galatians is certainly imbalanced in that sense. Paul is emphasizing one side of certain issues, like the law, for instance, in order to correct the imbalance that has come into the church. As a commentator on Galatians, then, one has to be very much aware of that and be careful about instantly drawing big macro conclusions about what Paul thinks on the basis of one text in Galatians. 